Hi there, new video here and today we'll take a look at 10 tips to improve your workflow in Zoner Photos 3OX. Let's check it out. There is this one thing, show original. This is a great function when you want to check your progress during the editing process. You have a 100% overview about all the changes made in the edited photo. You can compare it with the original picture whenever you want. The next feature is the radial filter. You can do lots of things with it, like creatively editing only a specific part of a picture changing contrast, luminance and so on. You can use it when you want to focus the attention of the viewer to a specific point on a photo. You can find that in the develop module. Next to the radial you find the gradient filter, which has the same function but unlike a circle it works in a line format. You can use it when you want to darken or lighten the sky without changing the rest of the picture. If you get into a situation where you want to reset some adjustments you made, just double click on the name of adjustments and that's it. And you don't need to move the slider exactly onto zero either. When you want to view your picture in full screen, Press F3 and open it in a separate viewer. You can open the viewer also by clicking this button. Are you editing your photo and want to continue on a part of the picture that is out of your workspace? You can push the spacebar and by using the mouse move the picture to where you want. Then just continue on with editing. If you want to get more space for your picture during editing, you can hide the surrounding panels by clicking the small arrow on the edge of each of them. You can display overexposed or underexposed parts of your photograph by holding Shift plus O. This gives you an overview about these parts and you can proceed with your edits according to this info. You can also display this feature by clicking the little sun next to the histogram. ZPS X can work with tabs just like a web browser. When you are editing a picture in the develop module and you need to do something in other the module, just hold Ctrl and click on the next module you want. This way you are able to work with more modules at one time and then just switch between them as you need to. Shortcuts, shortcuts, shortcuts. Find them under the preference menu in the general tab. Most of the features in Zoner Photo Studio X have their own shortcuts set by default. But here you can personalize the shortcuts to suit your needs. After using the shortcuts several times, they'll become second nature and your workflow will be smoother and faster. So those were the 10 quick tips for better workflow in Zoner Photo Studio X. I hope you try some of them and that it was useful for you. Click thumbs up below and see you later in the next video. Bye.